Alright, in this tutorial I want to take a break from my tedious work and just show you how you can create this pretty, pretty much realistic drawing using Zara Extreme and this is actually a retraced photo so let me just you know what, let me just delete it and I'll start from scratch, this is my photo I've downloaded it from somewhere and now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to lock this layer I'll be working with layer 2 and let's begin I'm going to use just the shape editor tool again I'm using my shortcut keys which are when I press the control key I can zoom in and out and when I press my middle mouse button my mouse wheel I can use the pen tool so let's get started. I will zoom in. Actually, I can close this because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to just set a few points right here. Let me just replace the stroke color so you can see it better. And I'm going to work on my pen point. Okay, I will remove the fill color and I will leave it like this. Okay, the ellipse doesn't really matter. Something like this. Again, my shape editor tool. Click here. Click here once again. Something like this. I want to change it to one point and give it a little bit of feathering. Alright, so now I'm going to work on this black area here, so I click here, let me change it to, you know what, it's going to be blue, and I'm going to work through this area, now it doesn't matter that the, this shape overlaps my current shape because I'm going to clone it. So I'm going to click and I'm going to clone my shape and now I'm going to select using my shift key these two shapes and I'm going to combine and subtract the shapes. So let me just right click here to remove the stroke color and as you can see I'm left only with the shape. And let's proceed. I will change the color to blue, right clicking on it. And let's make it a quick one. Right. The important thing is to, you know, sort of follow the lines. Doesn't have to be very accurate, but the more the better. Okay, let me just. I can delete this node. I think I don't need it. Alright, that's perfect. And I can just go ahead and close my shape right here. Oops. I did a mistake here. I just select my arrow tool and yeah, that's better. And now I'm going to close my shape again I'm just taking this shape I filled it with a color so you can see it better and I'm going to right click clone the shape you see that the shapes now uh, now overlaps uh, this one and using my shift selecting and I'm going to combine shape I will later on I will use my shortcut keys it's control plus two okay I can remove the stroke that's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to work on these little lines right here. So make sure that you have um, you have it set to this L line and this cusp join. So let's get started. Okay, let's make it black. Okay, let's zoom in. Alright, 
and I've, I've just pressed space it's my shortcut key and um, just to return to your previous shape that you've used okay okay doesn't have to be very accurate it's going to be black as well and just set it right here by default and just feather it a bit something like six pixels well let's make it let's make it three pixels and okay three pixels that is all right all right okay now let's continue I'm doing a quick one because I'm sure that you've already learned the basics of the of the tools alright again it doesn't have to be very accurate the rest whatever Now that looks better. Uh, I'm leaving this on purpose. My uh, my red my red stroke, so I don't forget it later on. I have this black mark in here. So okay, I'm going to clone it, clone the shape, and I'm going to bring it forward, and I'm going to just slice it. I don't need this part, I need only this one. I'm going to set it to black. Alright. And I'm going to work on this shape. Okay, let's make it pinkish. doesn't have to be very accurate again just has to be somewhat similar all right so if I remove the stroke and I'm going to tilt it and uh, nudge it a bit to the right so I can see the original color so I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm holding my shift key. And. Right. This is. Okay, this is better. So I'm going to replace it at the exact space, at the exact spot that it was previously in. So I'm counting 10 steps backwards. Alright, so we can finish this drawing by 10, 10 nudges and let's fill it with a color I gave it 7 more so I'm going to just lose the stroke and ok this is going to be black color and this is going to be something like something like that okay now 17 to the left all right perfect now for this this part again click here and click there let's make it red so you can see better and just it doesn't have to be very perfect because I'm going to clone the shape as 
you've already seen all right and now I'm going to create these little shapes one two let's make it blue yeah I've got a rain here one two let's make it blue okay again it doesn't have to be perfect just has to make any resemblance to to the real thing okay oh. that's pretty ugly okay no actually it's too ugly Yeah, that's better. And this is going to be white. Double clicked here and here. Something like that. Okay, that's better. And I'm going to just drag, right click, and just right clicking. Again, just let me nudge that. Okay, I'll remove the stroke, and I'm this is going to be grayish this is going to be totally black and this is going to be somewhat no, let me just I'll delete this and right good enough Okay, so if I bring back my layers panel, we're left with this pen. And if I'm going to group it and add a little shadow to it, this is our pen. I think pretty nice. You judge it. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you again next time.